All right, just wanted to do a quick video on this one. It's a Del Sol Guitars. Kind of a cross between a Telecaster, a Les Paul, and even a little bit of a PRS. And uh, maple neck on this one. Do have a um, LSR roller nut on there. Um, the Goto locking tuners. And uh, the, the profile on this neck is sort of a, um, this neck basically is a copy of like an Ernie Ball Music Man, um, the EVH or Axis neck. Uh, nice um, bird's eye maple fretboard on there. And um, pickups are Seymour Duncan. This is the Hot Telly Lead, which is tapped so you can have the full winding or the reduced winding and it is activated with a push pull on the tone knob um, up is hotter in is the half winding i think that's right yeah up is the hotter winding um, and the neck is the seymour duncan their vintage vintage telly pickup but uh, the bridge on this one is a uh, fender bridge with the brass saddles vintage style saddles and of course like most of my builds switches are usually fender uh, or you know a lot of a lot of different types of switches i use switchcraft pots are typically cts occasionally i'll use borns pots which are a very good pot as well and 10 inch radius on the fretboard um medium jumbo uh, frets i think there's 6105s the dunlop 6105s um, but here is um we'll put a little bit of a sound demo here start on the neck pickup <laughs> just with the gain rolled back so it cleans up a little and let's go to the bridge this is the hotter wind the full winding on the bridge you can tell at that gain level it's it's already starting to push the amp into breaking up just a bit where on the neck it was it was completely clean on the bridge pretty hot wound pickup so it's my favorite telly pickup so if you turn pot in is the um the lower winding and it sounds more like a typical vintage telly <laughs> same chord here and um, activate the hotter winding back to the lower winding that's yeah, pretty pretty noticeable difference here's the um, the middle position with the lower winding on the bridge E string's a little flat. All right, let's do the middle position with the higher winding on the the bridge. So it's a fairly versatile guitar. Um, the body is alder. 
and um, you know, kind of this bluish greenish stain on it and it has some pretty cool figuring in the back and and even in the top and it's kind of a sort sort of a mild relic job on it um, give it a little bit of a played in look but um yeah this, is a, this one turned out really well it's a cool guitar but anyway that's it there you go